Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you especially again this time around and I want to thank you for your support. I would like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new update. And um, if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, I appreciate you, I welcome you on board and I want to thank you for coming around. Kindly subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever a new update is posted. Thank you and welcome on board. Now the news in full. March the 17th, TB Joshua urged Biafrans to pray and fast for their leader. Prophet TB Joshua, the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Squan, called on all faithful Biafrans nationwide to pray for their leader, Mazi Namdekano, over negative occurrences. He said, We all love Namdekano despite his stance to split this country, Nigeria. According to him, he said, There are many people, including government authorities, that are seeking to terminate the life of Namdekano. TB Joshua declared, fasting and praying has to be done from now to March ending to stop all this negative effect on the leader. Alright guys, um, we've heard the news story. Um, we don't know if this is true or not. We don't know if actually, you know, it is correct. But that is what the news is reporting. That is what we have seen and that is what we have brought to you. But there is this saying that prayer is never too much. Anything that has to do with prayer, as a Christian, we all know that praying is not too much. You cannot over pray and you cannot probably under pray. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But prayer means well. Prayer is reaching out, communicating to the Most High, that is to divinity, on issues that pertains to anything, seeking and wanting the divinity and the Supreme God to come to the aid of one based on the prayer request. So, it has been said that T.B. Joshua has urged their friends to pray and fast for their leader on March 17 saying that there are negative occurrences that might happen. You would recall that some time ago, TV Joshua prophesied that Nam De Kano, you know, is actually a man sent by God and will achieve the realization of Biafra. Now, he has come out to say that the Biafrans and the IPOP family should pray for their leader. Even without the prophecy or without T prophet tb joshua coming out to say that biafrans should pray for their leader this is what you would expect that a lot of biafrans should be doing a lot of biafrans ought to be praying for their leader because he has sacrificed so much and it is not easy there are so many reasons why biafrans should be praying and fasting for their leader every day for divine wisdom divine guidance divine counsel so that he doesn't miss his step, he doesn't take a wrong decision, he doesn't also uh, misjudge things or mistime events. A lot of calculations are involved in all these things that he does. Look at the planning of the One Million uh, Man uh, Freedom March. Look at the meeting with um, the, U the U.S. President. Look at um, the the meeting with uh, the United Nations and all what have you. All these are planning. All these took serious, conscious plan. So efforts are being, you know, dished out to make sure that the realization of Biafra comes to pass. So one would not expect that all these things will just go without the divinity. And it will be, we all know that anytime Nam the Kano makes a or uh, yes, makes a broadcast. He also acknowledges 
the help, the grace, the power of the divinity. In his popular saying, Chukwabiyama. You know? So, it is only right, regardless of if it is true that Prophet T.B. Joshua actually made the call or not, said it or not, it is only right, it is only in line, you know, it, it is only um, it is only right for people to pray for their leader. Even the Bible says it. Pray for your leaders. So, March 17 has been declared as a day of fasting and praying for Nam the Kanu so that he would succeed and he would um, he would not be caught up with any evil occurrence. So if you're a lover of Biafra, you've heed the call. If you're a lover of Nam the Kanu, heed the call. If you want Biafra to come to pass, heed the call. If you want Nigeria to split up and the Bia and Biafra should be realized, hit the call. Come March 17th, prayer and fasting for Nambikano. Nothing works. Nothing works except God permits it. Nothing works except God permits it. Prayer goes a long way in helping things, helping man and in helping everyone. Everyone had prayed at one point in time of his or her life. Regardless of your religion, regardless of who you believe in or what you believe in, every human being has offered prayers at one point in time of his or her life. So IPOP members, don't be weary. You need to pray. This is the time that you need to pray for your people. This is the time that you need to pray for your leader. This is the time that you need to, uh, you know, stay in the place of prayer, be fervent, offer prayers to God concerning your leader, Nam the Kanu. I hope you will not come to say it is fake news. I hope you will not come to demand for video evidence. Like I stated, prayer is never too much. Prayer is always needed. Every man needs prayers. Every woman needs prayer. Every leader needs prayers. So, heed the call. Even if you cannot fast six to six, you know how it has been done. At least, deny yourself the pleasure and afflict your body with the temporary pain. God works wonders. God does wonders. Imagine if all IPOP, IPOP family uh, members all over the world would hit this call and just pray. Imagine if all IPOP members would fast on this day and pray. Come to think of it, the realization of Biafra, whom does it favor most? Is it Nam the Kano or the IPOP family, the IPOP members? Nam the Kano is well to do. He's cool in the in, in, in UK. He can work if he needs a job, he has a certificate, his family lives abroad. So you can see that Nam the Kano has himself well taken care of. So if his struggle is for the less privileged and so many others, middle class, first class, and what have you. It is only right for the IPOB family to pray for Namdekan. So the prophet T.B. Joshua has said that there should be prayer and fasting for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra come March 17, 2020. So guys, I would like to encourage you to please go ahead with the fast. Pray. And you never can tell. Biafra might just be re, uh, might just be realized sooner than a lot of people think. Because with God, all things are possible, and prayer changes things. Well, these are my views and my thoughts on this particular news story. I'd like to hear from you what your thoughts are. Kindly do not forget to subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get notification 
Also, kindly drop by the comment section and express your thoughts and your feelings. Let us know how you feel and what you feel about this new story. And also, don't forget to share this news with friends, family, relations and loved ones. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. I love you guys and I will see you on the other news.